A meeting of the minds. Details on how Columbia plans to crack down on violence. Columbia High School has changed practice times due to high heat. And a new law affecting drivers begins today, or does it? KOMU 8 News at 9 starts now. Live from Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 9. More than a dozen shootings in Columbia over the past few months left three people dead. Tonight, city officials are looking at how they can keep that violence from happening. Good evening, I'm Brittany Pieper. And I'm Jim Rick. Thanks for joining us. Neighbors are calling for change, and one of those changes is the beginning of a new task force that met tonight. KOMU 8's Matt Evans was at that meeting and joins us here in the studio with the details. A lot of community leaders said they need to get youth more involved in the process of finding a solution to stop the violence here in Columbia. Tonight, the mayor's task force on community violence met for the first time. The task force is chaired by 3rd Ward Councilman Michael Trapp and 5th Ward Council. The task force's next meeting is scheduled for September 11th at 530 at City Hall. Today, Columbia High Schools made changes to after school football practices because of that heat. We'll get to that story in just a minute, but first, let's check in with Dave to see if that heat's going to continue or are we going to get a break? There may be a break coming, Brittany, but probably not until the first part of next week and talk about it in a few minutes here on KOMU 8 News at 9. Thanks, Dave. Now back to those football practices. The Missouri State High School Activities Association has a set of guidelines that football games will be postponed until 8 p.m. because of the heat. A Columbia Parent Teacher Association is meeting for the first time since a first grader was arrested last Friday. The arrest happened at Mill Creek Elementary. KOMU 8's Meg McLeod is live at the school with parents' reaction. We attended tonight's meeting here to see if there would be any discussion about the six-year-old's arrest last Friday. Even though the issue was not brought up during tonight's meeting, parents did express that they're not concerned about the school's safety. Columbia police arrested. KOMU did speak with a social worker who recommends that parents be proactive in curbing these behavioral problems so they do not arise in school. Reporting live in Columbia, Meg Pulling, KOMU 8 News. The Boonville School Board announced it is not firing Superintendent Mark Ficken after investigating his role in the Missouri State Fair rodeo incident. Independent investigators focused on interviewing several people and analyzing video. They concluded Ficken had no advanced knowledge of the clown's plan to impersonate President Obama. Ficken's attorney, Albert Watkins, says he's happy the school board believes in due process. Watkins added, Ficken has not commented publicly because he is focused on his job for the beginning of a new school year. A new emergency zone law takes effect today, and it could cost you up to $10,000. But KOMU 8th Michelle Clemens tells us you may not be ticketed quite yet. Michelle? I spoke to the Highway Patrol in June, right after the emergency zone law was announced, and was told there's a learning period for the public. But when I spoke to drivers today, they didn't mind the possibility of having to pay if it makes the roads a little safer. For more information on the law or fines associated with it, visit our website, KOMU.com. A new law assisting military veterans with college tuition also went into effect today. Senate Bill 117 will help veterans qualify for lower tuition rates at Missouri public universities and colleges. Military personnel who receive honorable or general discharges will receive in-state tuition if they choose to gain resident status. These are the steps that a student would need to take to receive that in-state tuition. Students must currently live in Missouri for 12 months in a row get a Missouri driver's license, and earn at least $2,000 during a 12-month period. Other bills that took effect are, designated, are designed to help state treasurer identify the owners of military medals that are unclaimed property and to deal with voting by military personnel overseas. Tens of thousands of people gathered at the nation's capital to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr. delivering his I Have a Dream speech. President Obama, former presidents Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter, and even Oprah Winfrey spoke at the event. The historic 1936 speech punctuated the march on Washington and was a watershed moment for race relations in America. King's speech helped bring about landmark civil rights legislation. Tens of thousands... Of Mis or Missourians also celebrated the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington today on the grounds of the state capitol in Jefferson City. Missouri's March on Washington committee organized the event, and despite the heat, hundreds of people turned up to celebrate 
Speakers and attendees agreed that significant changes have been made in the past 50 years, but there is still more to be done. Even though a lot of issues are still being resolved, that the more people come together and actually do something about it, you don't have to solve the whole problem, but contribute a little bit to the solution. Don't be part of the problem, be part of the solution. I think that's what he will say. Speakers voiced a need for Americans to, quote, be the dream if there's going to be any change. They said King would have wanted everyone to be educated, ready to be utilized, and unselfish. Ecuador's president asked the international community to pay up several years ago. Find out what he's doing after the money failed to show up. Plus, a company is at the center of a contamination scare that prompted recalls across the world.